Behold the awesome power of a 22250 Remington versus a watermelon. I mean, it's absolute destruction. We're going to come back to that in a minute. But I wanted to make today's video because I love the 22250. It's by far one of my very favorite cartridges. Today, I'm going to show you some cool information to know about it. Basically, if you want to understand the 22250, remember the game Plants vs. Zombies, how they're shooting out little beans and stuff? I mean, look at the bullet of a 22250. It is tiny, right? I mean, it's the size of a pinto bean, and you can fling this thing at 3,500 feet per second and even much faster. This is a cool cartridge. Reason number one to love the 22250 is you can actually see your impacts. This is really big. If you're used to shooting 30-06, 308, 6.5 PRC, it's pushing you off enough from the recoil that you can't really tell what you're hitting most of the time. You know, you'll sometimes you'll be able to kind of see, oh, where the dust was or something like that, but it's not like you're watching in high def that bullet making the impact. With a 22250, oh, like this one, this heavy one, <laughs> this is a Bagara Wilderness Premier Wilderness Approach in 22250. Got a thick barrel. It's a pretty heavy gun. Plus, it's chambered in a very light round, like a 22250. You can see exactly what happens when you're shooting. And so you shoot a coyote and you watch it. You get to actually see what's happening. Even if you're just shooting targets, you can see so easily. It makes it a great gun for training, especially for my kids, because I really want to train them to stay in the scope during the shot to try to see that impact. And it's really easy to do with a, with a 22250. Reason number two is versatility. It's not very often that you see a cartridge that's absolutely ideal for knocking out a squirrel and a deer at the same time. So mostly 22250 is used on coyotes and varmints. But there are also people who are going to use this on deer and antelope sized animal. And it certainly is versatile enough to do that. It's been done hundreds and thousands of times in the past. The 22250 gets its name 22 meaning the caliber of bullet, the itty bitty little 22. But then the 250 is coming from the parent case. That's the 250 3000 Savage. So it started out as 25 caliber and we've necked that down to the 22. So it's, it has enough powder volume intended for a much larger caliber. So a lot of people are going to use that versatility to go down to a 35 grain bullet or a 65 grain bullet to load it for different things. Now for me personally, you won't ever see me hunting deer with a 22250. It's not because I think it's unethical or a bad idea or whatever. For me, just I always have this question of like, but why? But why are we doing that? Because you know, 6.5 PRC is not too much recoil for me to shoot well. 308 isn't too much recoil for me to shoot well. And so what possible advantage would I have in picking the tiniest little bullet? To me, it's not how tiny can I go and still do the job. It's how big can I go and still shoot as accurately as possible. But it is pretty cool that it's that versatile. Number three reason to love 22250 is down on the floor. So I took this target out and I shot it at three different distances. You'll see one bullet impact here, another there, and another there. But I used the same point of aim for all three shots. I aimed right there at the marker X. So this one is just barely low, but it was shot at 85 yards, So and, and it's right on. Then at 185 yards, and then at 285 yards. That's only 5.2 inches of difference between, you know, essentially 100 yard zero and almost 300 yards. That's really crazy. It's also a huge advantage. 
I mean, it's fun to shoot a cartridge that's just a laser beam, but it's also really practical too. You know, supposing you're hunting a coyote, well, they're coming running in. You don't necessarily have time to laser range find exactly where it is, and by that time the coyote's moved. So anything out to 300 yards, you're just aiming dead on and you're still going to get it. So that's called the maximum point blank range. So if we take a six inch maximum point blank range that you know, you're know you shooting out to a distance and your bullet will never go above or below six inches, you know, you're gonna make it out to about 280 yards depending on exactly what your load is for your 22-250. That's really impressive and makes you look like a better shooter than you are in a dynamic situation. Fourth reason to love 22-250 is everybody chambers for it. Pretty much whatever rifle you choose, you're gonna find something in 22-250. You're gonna find it from Mossberg, Savage, Tika, Ruger, Fierce, um, Barrett, everybody. If, you, if there's a rifle you want, there's probably a chambering available in 22-250. Browning, did I mention Browning? And that's a big advantage. I'm just seeing cartridges so differently over the last two years where it's all about ammo availability. And you know, things have gotten a little bit better the last few months, but there's there are two major elections coming up, right? We have midterms coming up soon in the US. And then, you know, we're only two years away from another presidential election. And is the same thing gonna happen? You know, are we gonna get the same nonsense that started this all in the first place? And we'll just have another big wave of this? I don't know that we're gonna see ammo availability return to normal in quite a long time. And so having a cartridge that everybody makes a rifle for, everybody loads ammo for, is only gonna give you the advantage. Reason number five, this is nuts. So a typical bullet is shooting, you know, 2,700, 2,800 feet per second. You know, a 6.5 Creedmoor is 2,700 feet per second, a 6.5 PRC is 2,950, we'll call it. Those are kind of normal bullet speeds. 22,250 is shooting at 3,500 feet per second for a kind of normal 55 grain load. But Hornady Super Performance, they have a 35 grain load that's hitting just about 4,500 feet per second. That is insane. To put that in perspective, if you have a 200 yard zero, you would only have four inches of drop at 300 yards. Now let's cut back to that watermelon that I mentioned in the intro. 22250 is an absolutely deadly round. It's so tiny that you might just think of this thing more as a little toy, a little plink around. So I've set down a watermelon at about 50 yards. We're gonna take a shot here and see what kind of devastation we get. If I can hit it. Holy cow, look at that. Look at this devastation check. There are pieces everywhere over about a 15 to 25 foot area. That is impressive. Even smashed the tote that it was sitting on. That is incredible power from a little 55 grain bullet. Now, because of the speed, it spends a little time in the air. And because of that, the wind drift is really low. So for reference, if you were to take a 500 yard shot with a 22250, the bullet would arrive at the target in 0.57 seconds. I took the 82 uh, rifle cartridges that I track, the most popular cartridges, and that would put the 22250 tied at number 19 for the 19th fastest cartridge to run out to 500 yards. For reference, the 308 would get there in 0.69 seconds. Number eight, barrel life is actually pretty decent on a 22250. This is one that I'm always concerned about. Anytime we get at these cartridges that are just super, super fast, I'm usually turned off because there's usually a drawback. You know, you get a 3378 uh, Weatherby. It's like, well, yeah, it's really, really fast. But when you take a heavy bullet and you push it that fast, it's gonna wreak havoc on your shoulder. The other thing is that it's going to do is burn out that barrel. 
The cool thing with the 22250 is most of the reports that I'm reading on 22250 are barrel life between two and 3,000 rounds, which is really comparable to any of the best cartridges out there. I think because it's that narrower caliber and very light bullet weights, barrel life isn't too much of an issue. Number nine, the 22250 is, I think, probably the deadliest coyote cartridge in existence. So the 22250 was started, you know, people started wildcatting the 253,000 Savage in the, you know, 1920s and 30s. It became a pretty popular wildcat. And pretty similar cartridges came out under other names, like the 22 Varminter. Then in the 1960s is when this was actually commercialized and it came out with this name, the 22250. And because it's been around for so long and it's so perfectly well suited to coyote hunting, my guess is more coyotes have died by the hands of the 22250 than probably anything else. The one that I'm not so sure about is if the 223 Remington has killed more coyotes just because it's ubiquitous and it's in ARs, something that a lot of people would be using. But I think certainly among like the serious coyote hunters, it's probably the 22250 hands down. Now, it's not the only fast centerfire 22 cartridge. The big one that people would be talking about is the 220 Swift. So the 220 Swift can even get a little bit more speed, but at some point we're getting diminishing re returns for how much powder we're burning. And the 220 Swift is a really cool cartridge, been around a long time, but the 22250 has just always beat it in terms of popularity. For most people, it's a little bit better balance of still extreme speeds without some of the negatives. That's the 22250 Remington. Hope you guys enjoyed today's video. We'll see you in the next one.